Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Cartesian coordinates are the most used coordinates in three-dimensional measurements. But from time to time every CMM programmer comes across technical drawings of parts that use polar coordinates. I remember the first time that I encountered on the drawing two positions with only angular basic dimensions. I thought that the drawing was incomplete and asked the drawing engineer to give me linear basic dimensions. He laughed of my ingenious remark but then he showed me how to interpret the drawing and the two position with polar coordinates. Of course that in my head another question popped about how do I do this in the measurement software. But I learned how to do that too and everything was good. Until the next time I've encountered the polar coordinates, because long time have passed. But now I want to have this video stored here on my channel for me and for you guys to remember how to do it. So let's get to it. So we are not going to go through what is a polar coordinate system and all there is to know about it because I already made a video about reference system so you can watch that one, it should pop out in the right corner of the video. But I do want to mention that the cylindrical coordinate system and the spherical coordinate system belongs to the polar coordinate. With that being said, this is our drawing and here we can see that we have to evaluate the true position of the holes of the holes from here but we only have angular basic dimensions to work with and the basic dimension of the diameter between the centers of the circles from the hole which is enough to evaluate the true position so let's go to calypso and create this example okay guys so we are here in Calypso now and I've already extracted the elements necessary to build the alignment and uh, the elements necessary to construct the true positions as we can see here. So we do have datum A, the plane, we do have datum B, the cylinder and I've created an intersection between datum B and datum A, an intersection point and I've called it origin just to make the alignment the base alignment with it so let's create the base alignment we we are going to put datum a in the spatial rotation then we are going to set the x origin in the intersection point called origin the y as well and the z axis in datum a okay we don't have a planar rotation as you remember from the drawing good let's also set the clearance plane i will set a simple clearance plane of 10 millimeters from each edge of the cat model you will probably have to set uh, a bigger clearance plane if you have fixture or everything this is just a simulation so remember that and as I told you, I've extracted the elements to evaluate the true position. So we have the cylinders and again, we intersected the cylinders with datum A and we have a point right here. Because in this way, we will also take the inclination of the cylinder if it has some inclinations. Good. But as we can see right here, we have the... Cartesian coordinates for the point, right? And we don't want that. We want the polar coordinates. So what we can do is to go right here at this button. This is the feature representation. If for some reason you don't have this button right here, you can go to resources and you can find it right here under resources again, feature representation right here good after you open this window we will just have to select the points right because you can set all the points to be represented as a polar coordinate point but we don't want that we want just the intersection points 
and we have to go to this plus sign right here and we select we press control and select all the intersection points all the elements that we want to select okay we have it here we go to each and every one of them and we set them to cylinder coordinates and now as you see here we have the radial distance the angle and the height and now we have the radius the angle and the height right here so let's see the drawing okay and as we can see here the first point that we have is this one from here this one and it's on the 90 degrees and we want it to be on 180 degrees according to the drawing okay so let's go and set it at 180 degrees we can do that from here and just set the complementary angle the complementary angle you just have to add the, because this is a positive orientation of 90 degrees you just have to add 90 degrees more to have 180 and set okay and there you have it it's 180 degrees as the drawing specifies press okay go to the next one and do exactly the same the next one is this one from here let's see it 252 degrees 252 degrees okay so it's right here right here negative orientation okay okay now we set the intersection points and we go to evaluate them and you may have noticed from the start that the angle doesn't change in the true position and we do have the diameter from the center of the holes right here so it's 80.33 this means that we have to have on the radius 40.165 okay and the tolerance 0 1 let's call it true position 1 and we do want to have 180 here so just go to special rotate by angle the we want to rotate around the z-axis and do it 90 minus and now we have 180 degrees on the angle just like we want to be from the drawing click ok do the same for all five of the holes and the next one is through position two okay so you may have noticed that we have 108 on the angle and we do have the special but calypso doesn't want to go fully around just like we can see in the drawing right here I wonder who did the drawing yeah I wonder who did it okay uh, but it doesn't matter because this is the complementary angle for 252 okay so let's set also for all of them exactly the same good now that we have all of them if you really want to give some of your colleagues and if they really want the deviation on the axis or the angle and the radius the radius you can give them from from here right and the angle also from here and uh, just call them exactly the same we have the true position one for example for this one and we can give half of the tolerance right here and we can say that this is the angle of true position one okay and we can set it right here and you have also this okay let's set the angle for true position two and again you have the correct angle right here right i will do this for all of them okay so we have now all of them right here good uh we can also give 
the colleague that needs the radius because that is important as well make sure that you correct the nominal it's not that big of difference but it is some difference right here so we want to have the correct values okay so this is the only workaround that i found on calypso so you can give the radius the correct radius and the correct angle for the polar to position when you have cases like this and you cannot give the angle as it shows on the drawing okay run the program yes just a simulation okay let's see what do we have good look this is what we have so we have the radius and we have the angle the correct angle for all of them right radius angle okay guys thank you for watching this is it for this video if you have colleagues that need to know about this kind of true position let them know about my video subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet and until next time learn as much as you can